And this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you for your personal development and spiritual growth. And on this short presentation, I just want to explain to you the purpose of goals in your life. Every day, you should be getting up in the morning and living your life on purpose. In other words, there should be a reason for you to get up and go about your daily tasks, chores, work, hobbies, recreations. Why are you here? We have something that I call a major definite purpose. We'll move towards discovering what your major definite purpose is throughout your development. But you might already know what you're here to do, why you've been put here on planet Earth, in this dimension, in this time, in this place, in this space, with your face. And you're no accident, you've been put here to complete the bigger picture of your own soul journey and also assisting within the oneness to create perfection within the universe. Now that's a massive statement, but there are no accidents in nature and you're not an accident. You're unique and whatever you're experiencing is exactly what you're supposed to be experiencing to learn, develop and grow and to contribute to the learning, development and growth of everybody within the oneness, the universe, the multiverse and all creation. So every day you should be on purpose. You should be fulfilling and honouring your incarnation. So I ask three simple questions, don't I? And those three simple questions are, what do you want to have? What do you want to be? And what do you want to do in your life, with your life, throughout your life? And also, what do you want to do today? What do you want to do this week? What do you want to do this coming weekend? A short-term goal is a week. A medium-term goal is a month. And a long-term goal is three months. And all the time you should be asking, what do I want to do today? And to do something, you've got to have something possibly and be something. And then what do you want to be? What do you want to become? Be is an abbreviation of become. What do you want to become? What's your legacy? Do you want to be a good mum, a good daughter, a good sister, a good husband, a good brother, a good son, a good next door neighbour? The best at what you, you do in your profession. You want to be happy, you want to be healthy. You might want to be in Spain. You might want to be on holiday. You might want to be doing this and doing that. You might want to have this. You might not want to have this. The best way to work out what you want is to first of all decide what you don't want. Lots of people moan and complain. So the things that you're moaning and complaining about, you don't want those. So what's the opposite of that, which is contrast? And what do you want to do? If you could wake up in the morning and do anything, what would it be? And who would it be with? And where would it be? To get those things written down. Most people want health and energy. They want loving relationships. They want financial security. They want stuff. They want respect. They want health. So for you, your goals are unique and nobody's judging this. And then... What do you want to do to help other people? What do you need to have to help other people? What do you need to be to help other people? These goals motivate you, they inspire you, they fire your nervous system. And if you're on purpose, living happily, being pleased and eased and smiling, doing what you want to do, having what you want to have and being the person that you want to be, you'll live a lot longer. You'll radiate that positivity because you're getting what you want out of life, what you deserve and your life will shift. And it might be that you just want some really simple things. I've realized over the years that the things that I thought I wanted, I don't necessarily need. Want is a weak word. So look at what your needs are. What do you really need? What do you need to be? What do you need to have? What do you need to do? And then write them down, get three pieces of paper, and at the top, write, what do I want to have in my life? A new piece of paper. Right at the top, what do I want to be in my life? Be, become. What do I want to become? And then on the third piece of paper, what do I want to do in my life? And then write that down as your bigger mission and then get a piece of paper and then to move towards those goals, what do you need to do today? 
what do you need to do this week? And then you program based on three months, because in three months, everything can change. Personal circumstances can change. Things that people do to you can change your personal circumstances. The world can change, society can change, your family can change, your health can change. All sorts of things can change. Three months, 13 weeks is a long time. And, and, and 13 weeks is a season. And I think I might have mentioned to you, and if I haven't, I'm telling you now, that you program for a season. We program for spring, summer, autumn and winter. Because environmental, elemental forces in these seasons affects our mindset, our body chemistry, our moods, our emotions, the physicality of the world. And you should work to a season. We, we are in harmony with nature. And our goals should be harmonious with nature. And we should listen to our bodies and our minds and our emotions. And this wave of energy that comes through us, to us, from us, is affected by the planets, the seasons, elemental forces, the weather, vibrations from other people, other places, other spaces, other faces. So be very mindful of how you feel. Make sure that you set your goals when you're in a balanced mood. Not necessarily a good mood, but just a, a place of stillness. Don't do it when you're excited, when you're angry, when you're jealous, when you're sad. Create balance. Set your goals. And then revisit your goals daily and, and update them and, and just say, is this something I've said for years, but maybe I don't want it? A goal isn't a dream, it's a target. It's something that you can achieve. You can have, be and do anything that you choose. You just have to write it down, know what you want and be prepared to do what it takes until you've got it. And a lot of people give up. So decide today that you're not going to give up ever until you get the things that you deserve and desire. Write your lists and then we'll work with my processes, my strategies, which are daily and disciplines, which is where a lot of people fail. They start off with good intentions and then they let it go. So if procrastination, putting things off is your problem or willpower or determination or discipline, write down, I want to have more get up and go. I want to have more discipline, more willpower, more determination, more self-discipline, more self-control, more self-esteem. So it could be attitudes, moods, things, objects, situations, events. Just lift the lid off your mind, be open-minded and write down exactly what it is that you want to have being do on pieces of paper. And then whether or not you're in one of my groups, whether you've come to one of my workshops or whether I'm working with you personally bespoke online or one-to-one, -one, this is the starting point for living on purpose, living a wonderful magical life, a multi-century life where you can have being do anything that you deserve and desire. And you can have far more than you're currently experiencing. And you deserve it because that's what you're here to do. Never settle. Don't accept second best in relationships, in jobs, in houses, in what you do as your daily routines. In fact, don't have routines. Routines are ruts. Have exciting variety. So write it down. And then that's our starting point for your development. And I can't wait to work with you because I've exceeded all my expectations when i started to do goals like this 30 years ago i wrote down some very basic things and i smashed those and so will you so god bless have a great day get it written down and let's get going with this bye for now